Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Layers of Fear. We've done one run so far. One of these cupboards has opened. And we found the canvas. Ugh. And the painting. Well, it looks like a couple of very gory flamingos at the moment, but it's certainly changing. Let's see what happens after we confront some shapeless dreams. So we're back in this corridor. Let's move on through. Ooh, that's new. Well, it's an elevator. Let's elevate. Close the door. And goes that way. Okay. Let's see what we see. Actually, let's pretend we didn't see that. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we've done the best job possible considering the extent of the tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I have already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, MD. Right. And grafting, so... Yep. I think what we found out that she she's been involved in a fire and badly burned mm. seems to be the case ah. And now we know why the music sheets were burned when we first saw them. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh! This corridor has changed. That one's still locked. Not going anywhere in that, are we? Let's see if we can get through here. Yep. There's a door. Yeah, a little cupboard there. Nothing in it. Doorway there. 
Got to get there. Got to get there. And oh, sounds like there's a fire in there. Okay, let's have a look around. Let's see what this door does. Bangs into my leg and immediately closes. That's what that door does. All right. Oh yeah, it looks like there's a fire down there. Burning furniture by the looks of it. Any tourists just around here? Well, young couple walking through the park. Get another photograph. Okay, well let's get through that uh, before the uh, the ceiling gives away. Well, the floor gives away rather. Get through it here. Ooh. Okay. Somebody's been drinking while the baby melts. That's more than a little disturbing. Okay, and we... Ooh, rat! Well, we're not going through there. Anything in here? No. Oh, there's something here. Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. psychologist or psychiatrist. Blank expression, stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movements, yes. Insomnia, haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or postures, always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities, definitely. Depersonalization, what does that even mean? Awkward, clumsy movement. Might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment. More passive-aggressive. Lack of motivation. Yes, suicidal tendencies. Okay, well, somebody was obviously worried about being schizophrenic. Okay, what do we have here? Yes, we can turn that lamp on. There we go. That is a horrible, horrible portrait, isn't it? Not even any interest in there. Nothing of any interest in there. Putting the lights on hasn't made a change. That makes a change. Uh, yeah, well, you know what I mean. Okay. Let's move on. I think we've covered everything in this room. Yeah, I think we've covered it, everything in this room. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay, that's locked. All right. Looks like we missed that key. Whatever it was, I should take a another look at that one perhaps later on. Nothing 
in this room. Nothing in this room. done in mirror image. Well, let's take that as a clue, shall we? Ugh. Okay. Cannot, it cannot be undone. Uh, I can't walk back through there. Alright. Dog! Oi. A barking portrait, okay. Alright. What was that? Sometimes I think dogs are better pets for with, with toddlers anyway. They tend to be more patient. Oh, but still, that was a really, really stupid idea on his heart. So on we go. Let's see what we'll see in that one. Strikes me that head doesn't fit on those shoulders. Nothing in there. Well, it's locked. And that one's locked too. Okay. Hmm. These pictures are getting a bit blocked and blurred. Okay. Okay. Hey. Another rat. Is it the same rat? Is that rat following us? Melted wheelchair. Okay, we've got corridor down there. Let's have a look around first, in this case we lock ourselves in again. And corridor in there. I get the feeling we missed something earlier on. Are we locked in because that locked door? Okay, let's see. Yeah. And we're back here again. Okay. Let's go this way. Glad I wasn't standing under that. Door locked. Turn the lights back on. Anything in here? Nothing in there. Nothing. Oh, yeah, there is something there. September the 12th. She's been at it today. She's been at it again. Earlier in the day, I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my latest paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read in my, about my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough to know what really gets to me. I just can't believe she'd use that against me. 
The worst thing is, when I confronted her about it, she claimed she hadn't written any of them. Like I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus. Does she really hate me that much, or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. Okay, let's not go through there, eh? And yeah, that door opened again. Let's go and have a look. All right, oh, I'm coming in. Key there, thank you. Uh, all right. You want as much light as possible in here. Mm -hmm. no, can't let you in, I'm afraid. And now I'm quite glad that I didn't let you in. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Something in there. Ah, a wedding photo. A, a wedding photograph. April the sixth found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better with a small child in the house. That's just irresponsible. Okay, so yeah. Another bit of evidence that they had a child. It's like the paint got up and walked away, doesn't it? Ah, there's the door. All right. That it was. Did indeed unlock the door. Good. Oh, I think we've seen this corridor before. Oh, oh back to the bedroom. Sounds like there's a memory here. Ah, there it is. Ah, that, that's probably a really, really bad idea on his behalf. Okay, so we have... Gramophone... Player... Well, there's no, nothing in there, so let's pick that up. And put that in there.
Alright, I think, yep, that's the next item we need. Now let's get out of here. Which we're not doing through that door. That playing it backwards did this, now let's try playing it forwards. That's doing it. Interesting choice of music. Stumbling around, stumbling around, so funny. It's clearly how he saw himself, you know, as a, as, as a drunk, I'm a humorous drunk. Prosthesis snatchers. Clearly that wasn't how everyone else saw him, though. But, yeah. Okay. Oh, and here we are again, back in this portrait room. So. Hate even now, lost and alone, you deserve it. A grave for you. Finish it. Let's see what happens this time. Oh. Add more form. Yes. Clearly the picture is not finished yet. And we have another door open here. So this just a little something well perhaps you'll join me next time when we explore layers of fear once again and form emerges until then I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Layers of Fear. Thank you, and good night. Well, hello. Damien here. Did you like this? Please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And don't forget to leave a comment. Mm -hmm.